Hello everyone, it's January from Crafted Giving, and in today's video I'd love to share how to make this sweet little polymer clay Game of Thrones inspired dragon necklace. So to start with you'll need some wire that you just bend into, I'm calling it a smiley face, and twisting the ends over to create little loops on each end. So this is going to be the base of our little dragon. Then using the polymer clay in the color of your choice, I'm making a black dragon today and just rolling it out into a sort of thick snake and then start forming the body by doing the head first and then the neck and then like a fatter body and we'll focus on the tail later. Now this is going to be the back part of our dragon basically. We're going to build onto this wire so that the wire acts like a support system within the dragon. So this is just sort of like a rough outline of what the dragon's shape of his body will be. Then grab a little ball of clay that you roll out into a circle and this is going to be sort of the cheek of the face and then blend in the edges using your finger or a little polymer clay blending tool. Go ahead and cut a little mouth using a crafting knife and then create a little pointy nose. I'm just extending his little mouth by just cutting a little bit further down to make it look like he's got a bigger mouth. To create this eye, I'm just adding a little snake of black clay that I'm forming into an eyebrow and blending the edges on the top side into the face. Now this is not an exact replica of the beautiful dragon in Game of Thrones, it's just inspired by the dragon of Game of Thrones. <laughs> anyway, I went ahead and added some horns to the top of his head by rolling little balls of clay and then rolling only one side of the clay into little teardrop shapes and three various sizes. Then I went ahead and rolled out another snake of clay that I pressed flat with my finger and then cut that into little triangles and this is going to be the texture of his body like the scales of a dragon. Then for his hind leg I rolled out a fatter piece of clay and then pressed it flat having a fatter rounder part for his thigh and then sort of bent it into shape to form his leg. I went ahead and covered the rest of his back and started to create his wing as well. So I rolled out this piece of clay first, but I'm going to remove that piece of clay here in a second because I wasn't happy with how it looked. I took a ball of clay and rolled it out fairly thick, just a rough um, little circle, not perfect circle, and then just freehand cut a little wing out, just creating little loops, sort of like a bat wing basically. Here I'm removing that previous little piece of clay and then just attaching that wing to his back and making sure that the end of his wing meets the back of his tail area just so that that clay has something to hold on to then I went ahead and rolled a thin snake of clay just as an extra little bit of detail to create that sort of bone of the wing and then added some more detail within the wing um, using that I don't know the technical term for this bit but just that that veining almost the vein yeah of the wing making sure that all the points meet at one point and then go to various points down towards the edge of the wing if that makes sense then I went ahead and sort of roughly shaped his tail and played around with that. A bit later in the video I'll show you how I secured that tail a bit more by adding another support system to the tail. But then I went ahead and cut myself some more little triangles and covered the tail up against towards where his hind leg meets the back. Now make sure that you attach these quite firmly to the base of your clay and especially over that wire but you don't want to press too hard on the pointy bits so that you lose that scaled look. So attach it quite firm at the base of the triangle onto the base clay but not press down your detail. Then to create finer little scales I'm just using this little piping tip that I have in my polymer clay kit and just sort of indenting it creating that little scaled look just to add a bit more finer detail to the tail and his little thigh and on his cheeks here in a minute. So just gently pressing it into the clay to create little scales. I didn't do much detail on his foot, I just trimmed it a little bit, I wasn't happy with how big it was and then just folded that back and created his little foot. So here I'm just adding some more scales to his cheek just to create a little bit of interest on his face as well. And then I added some little spiky bits on the top of his head by just cutting out um, the three little spikes and then attaching that and then added a few more horns by rolling out little teardrop shaped clay. I 
add a little nostril and then add your little eye just rolling out a small ball of brown clay and popping that into the eye and then I'm going to go ahead and use a little dotting tool for nails actually and just defining that mouth a bit more and creating a little eye socket for the eye by just having a little indent and then adding a tiny little snake of clay underneath the eye just to create a little eyelid. Here I'm just um, defining that line between the back and the thigh a bit more and adding a few more veins inside the wing. So as you can see this tail over here is quite floppy and needs to, to be a bit more secure. So to do that I'm just adding another piece of wire and covering that with some clay and blending the edges to make sure that clay sticks together. Now in hindsight I wish I um, added a little support system to the back of the wing as well. It's fine but if you're going to make this make sure you secure your wing appropriately as well. Then go ahead and bake your clay according to your polymer clay's instructions and allow that to cool. Go ahead and add your favourite chain to the little um, hooks that you've created and there you have it, a really fun way to create your own dragon inspired by Game of Thrones. Now if you want to you can totally go ahead and add some more colour by adding some red to his wings or, or paint some colours or whatever. You can be as creative as you like, you can even glaze it if you want. I quite like the matte finish, I didn't want this to be super glossy. And yeah, a really fun way to create your own polymer clay dragon. I also like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. This is so exciting and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos that I create. Now if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I upload every Monday and Thursday and I like to make videos on handmade gifts and other fun DIY projects. Now if you want to, you can check out my other playlist that I have for Game of Thrones related crafts by clicking on the annotation on your screen or in the links down below. And if you want to, you can check out my other videos too. And I thank you so much for watching and remember to be crafty with your giving. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!